But hey you, welcome back to West March. I'm in Minecraft again and I I got an answer from um every once in a while I build houses for people. Um not that they get to use them or do anything with them, but you know what? It's like if you were coming over and being a guest in, in my country or if you lived here, what kind of house would you like to live in? And um I I had asked the fellow who I'm going to, you know, is the inspiration for the mayor of Deckerton. And um, I said, would you rather be in the country with like vineyards or something? Or would you like to live right in town, great big fancy kind of government building house on right on the square? And he's a town boy, so that's okay. So these four flats have just been made into a building. Now I, I'm thinking this, we could do sort of um, town hall, and living space sort of thing. So maybe off to the sides instead of separate flats, these will end up being, you know, a couple of government offices. That could be a thing, right? We could have, you know, immigration or taxes, wahaha, you know, something, just a couple of, uh, some sort of government building here on either side. And these would not be big offices. I don't, I don't think we need anything like that, but I thought I could make the main floor sort of a, you know, the big meeting hall or something like that. And then the entire upstairs of the thing, or probably, you know, two levels of upstairs to the thing will end up being his living quarters. So we can have the mayor up top. We'll have some balconies where he can, you know, stand and wave to the populace that are all gathered in the square during events or holidays or, you know, that, that kind of thing. Right. So yeah, this is good. Although now I have I, I still have this idea for the flats, which I'm going to make over on that side instead. So it'll be fine. They'll be, they'll be facing each other. It'll be good. It'll be good. And, and I might end up pulling this same pattern and leaving it over there. And then there'll be the four little flats and then the great big thing on the other side. And it'll, again, that symmetry thing that's going on in my head lately. I'm, I'm not sure why it's all there, but... I think this could look, I mean, they would be different, absolutely. And, you know, these three buildings are not, you know, evened up or anything like that. And I am thinking about a little something down at the end there anyway. So um, I, it can be too even. Or then it's just, you know, blocks in Minecraft, right? You gotta have a little realism. And things don't always work out as even as you would like them to. But this part of the road may end up getting shuffled around. Or there'll be some small shop in here. Um, I kind of like the idea of just some long, skinny thing that's a little, yeah, just to throw a, a, a little kink in all the things, right? So if this were the main hall here, and I'm not building this in cobblestone, I don't think, although I, t I tend to a lot, but this is a government building. Oh, I probably should be doing it in brick. I got, the cobblestone is me. This is me sketching. This is me sketching in what it is I may end up building here. It, uh, absolutely. Um, and it, it it probably will be just a like this brick right here. Because I, I, I like to build very much in vanilla for the most part. I know that... Well, that house is, is a lot of sandstone, though. It's got... I mean, if... If something happens and we update and mods muck up as mods tend to, um, you know, I still have the main body of the building there that I can go back and fix up. And I, I do like to build in, you know what, <laughs> I know, silly, but I do like to have foundations under my walls. It's a thing, just, yeah, I know, waste of, waste of brick and even... I, it wasn't something I did early days, but as I played the game more, I, it seemed more important to me somehow that that be the case. So even if it's in creative, I, I tend to just, I need the extra. It needs to be there or it bothers me. So it's like, if you're going to do it, do it right. Darn it. Uh, da -dum -dum. Yeah, I think, I think brick is definitely the way to go with this. Um, yeah. So, because then I don't have to worry about it disappearing into the oblivion of non-updated mods. And of course, long term, I guess the only thing, you know, that would be 
the, the smart thing to do would be just to learn how to do this stuff myself in all my spare time. Yeah, and that's the problem. It just comes down to do I play Minecraft to get really good at it or do I attempt to make some kind of living in life? Yeah, and unfortunately, you know, both. Are, they're not always as compatible as you might imagine. It's unfortunate, but true. It's so true. Oops, there we are. Uh, da -dum 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 -dum. Yeah, I think with brick... Uh, just because it is a government house. I want it to stand out from all the color. I, I, I mean, I want it not somber. That is definitely not the right word I'm going for. But I want it to be more serious. Either that or, oh, see, I'm about to change my mind again here, guys. Or we could do it in sandstone. Because you uh, may be sandstone, you think? You think sandstone would be better? I mean, we can make this look good. We can. This can be absolutely a doable thing. But in terms of smooth, chiseled, you know, this one, which would be brick-like, what else could we do? We could do brick-brick. Ooh, brick-brick is good. There's brick and there's brick-brick. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I wanted the egg, but you know what? I'm not, I, I can get it. I can replace the egg. I'm fine. The white, a great big beautiful white is always nice oh I hate throwing this stuff away as soon as you you know you're back in you know clay I could have made all the pink over there instead of granite I could have made it out of clay and this is supposed to be white in my world it looks it come on it looks pink but if we're going to do that kind of thing hmm that could be made really beautiful. And of course, I love white. I built the entire summer palace in the, in the quartz, which took me months to collect. God, that was harsh. That, that was tough. That is always beautiful. And it's just clean and ritzy, and I, I love it. And then, of course, the smooth sandstone, you know, especially with the blocks like that, like this one is. And that... You know, it's a little softer. It's not as as the, the the quartz, but and those two colors right there. That's what I made the summer palace out of. And I mean, I do love it. I do love it. And I I like the clay a lot. And I could maybe end up using this for trim, but because it's got the very smooth surface, and and I like that. I like that. Obviously, I'm doing it in the rest of the freaking town. But I think, okay, which one of these guys? Which one of these? I think these have got to be, or, or brick, or brick, brick, you know, instead of regular brick, you know. Because <laughs> that, that could be beautiful, too. I mean, this, this could be quite nice. So there's the options I'm looking at. I think the clay is, is no. I think of want. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. what am I going to do? Oh. See, this is how I build. And this is why I keep thinking, who would want to see that? <laughs> um, hmm. Okay. Let's, let's see how it coordinates. Over here is going to be very much the same, the same sort of style of building. And I am going to be using like that color, that color, the blue, that Purple is so harsh. I do like, I like, ooh. Hmm, gray? Is that too toned down? Maybe too toned down. We want it happy, puppy, puppy. So we've got the this, this, and this on that side. Um, that one is not as bad. Okay, I need, I'll need three, four colors. Four colors over here. Um, so let's just, you know what, let's just put four colors up. And sometimes people say, oh, I can't build anything but blocks. I can't do, you know, this or that or the other. And it's like, well, you know what? You just, just keep doing them. And that's the trick is you just keep doing them until, until it works. It, I do a lot of sketching like this. Like I said, even in survival, I do a lot of sketching. By the time I get around to actually building something, I've probably already spent, you know, a good, I don't know, 
75% of the, the work is, is done already. Because once I get to build it, I already know what I'm going to do. But I've, the total time for the build, about 75% of it, has nothing to do with actually building the build. It's this kind of thing. And you just keep doing it over and over again. And then one day it works out. And and then, you know, you like it. You go, oh, yeah, I finally, I finally did it where I like it. This is so cool. So <clears throat> if those ended up being my four colors, and that looks pretty good, actually. I'm kind of liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Those could be the four colors over there. There'll be a lot of lighter, you know, trim and things like that, obviously. But um, that could end up being what's over there quite easily. So we'll have the same design on that side, four flats, those colors. And then, and when I'm looking at, let's get, let's get everything off. We don't want color in the front affecting what we're seeing. So we're looking at those colors here and you let your eye kind of go across and see what snags you at the other end. And that's official building. That's the that's the richy part. That's the rich guy. That's the one who's got the power in the area, blah, blah, blah. We want his to be a little different. This is obviously all the ritzy people. They're right on the square. They have very decorated houses. They're going to have some nice things inside. But you know, this is, they've got the color, they've got the servants who can paint all of, all of these walls and keep them bright. So with these colors, which are kind of quieter, those are very bright. And then to move along, we'd have what? What do we want to see on the other side of us? So when I look at these, my eye goes over here. The, uh, the white or the sandstone? The sandstone with white trim or vi vice me versa? Good question. Yeah, I'm thinking I don't want the gray. I think I want, you know what, I think I'm just going to go with white, guys. I think I'm just going to go with white. And then we can use, uh, or the sandstone, and use color trim. I, I, I want it brighter. This is too plain. I don't want, I, I like the brick. That's just going to be too plain. Now, having said that, that this could be a possible color for the other side either in terms of trim um, because that that would look nice together that would make a great trim set it could also look really good with that I don't know maybe I mean we could do pink on this as trim no we can't <laughs> no we really really can't pink and green always that that tends to work out that could be a nice um a nice group like setting there for trim and in the, like, they could have white as well of course because you know white goes everywhere with everything right I mean some of these have got are these all two colors did I really just do two colors no, because that's got the brown trim on the windows inside. That's two colors, and then the third color, I'm getting pulled in with the flowers, the roses. Here we have gold, yellow, white, and the little bit of brown. Over here, we've just got two color trims, and then the red inside the windows. So some will have two. Some, some are going to need more, though, I think, absolutely. I like the gold. The gold and green sounds like a really nice pairing to me, at any rate, and some white in there. I think that could work out quite nice. Would I want white in this as well? No, it starts to look like a circus. I, it, somehow it, the pink, the it, it's like one too many. No, don't do it. Um, and then what three over here? Could it be like this? There's not a lighter blue, is there? Oh, there is two. Um, and then, of course, sandstone could be used. Oh, sandstone, it makes such a beautiful trim. And this one's nice because it's um, it's got the added texture, you know, that, that makes it kind of extra special. So over here, would it, instead of the white, this? <sighs> no, the white, th that was good. That, that will work very nicely. With the two pinks, would this be better? That might be better, actually. It's less, um, less, just less. <laughs> this one, you know, maybe would that be better. It's it's very different. It's it's much quieter. That's for certain. We could have two shades of pink, and the, you know what? I think no. I think if it's going to be this, just the one, because they're they're very strong colors. They do coordinate well. The pink and the green will coordinate very nicely. 
that they're both very definite when you add the third one and again it starts feeling like the circus it's just like too much pop it's just it's like simmer down just a little bit just quieten down you'll be fine you'll be fine and over here i mean this makes a very quiet subdued sort of coloring that oh that's very monotone i like that though you know what i think that's the one right there those three colors i like a lot keep it to two there the three over here can work this one and, and i like the fact that i'm thinking about trims over here that are just you know solid stones or the other clay which is what have i done over here yeah here i've used the brick around it which gave it a little texture oh excuse me there scotty bird <laughs> Um, you know, this has got the blocks there. I use the granite. Oh, I love the granite. It's so, oh, the granite. Ho, 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 ho. Maybe so. Maybe that's the pink I could use in front of this. Um, no, it really, really, really is not. Because this, look, and here's why. This has got, when you see them combined, this pink, it's got more yellow in it, it, it and in some grays. It's been very toned down. What you actually do is end up adding a little green to the red here to, to like bring the color down. This has just got a lot of blue in it, which is why it coordinates over here with the blue on there. That's, um, that's when you put the two of them together, that hurts my face. Um, although the sandstone, if we used chiseled smooth, what could we do? We, we have other choices. This would give us the brick look, which I like a lot. Probably more than that. Or I could use them both. You know that? I could use those two colors and use them. The colors are, you know, identical, of course. Um, and that gets into a whole different thing. So I don't, I don't think that one. So I'm thinking those there were going to be beautiful. This will coordinate and bring, kind of bring down that, that purple so it's not quite as like screaming in your face. I'm going to love the blue on blue over here with the white touches. It, it's very soft. It feels elegant. It feels kind of nice. This one, this could work if I had something with it to calm it down maybe. I don't know. Maybe maybe something like that. Not the white. It's too bang in your face. Uh, I mean, the granite here, I suppose, would be a different kind of pink. We could do that, which quietens everything dramatically, doesn't it? Do we want to quiet? There's the thing. That one's going to feel very quiet. These are supposed to be different personalities. People have moved in and made choices based on their taste, right? So, of course, these are also very rich people. See, I'm questioning this purple all over. Maybe I can make it the pink. Would the pink be better, guys? Would the pink be better? Or is that just too crazy in your face bright? Although the other side is pretty bloody bright too. I mean, the colors are not in and of themselves very bright, but I don't know. What is it? I had the purple just doesn't see. I'm kind of liking that better right there. I think I like that better. It's bright, but it's not Bozo the Clown bright somehow. I think I like this. This, I think I, I like, it's a stronger color. Like it's a deeper color, but it's not as, ah, somehow. I don't know. The purples are, there's a harshness to them somehow that gets to me. Oh, although this one's pretty good. You know, this one's pretty good. Hmm. Purple or pink? You know what? Maybe I'll let you guys decide. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, other than that one question. And it's too bad they don't coordinate better because then I could just, well, you know, maybe it does. Maybe I could just use them both. Uh, okay, I really can't decide on that. That's bugging me. I don't know what to do about it. So I'm going to ignore that part. But the point being, <clears throat> squirrel, over there, do I want to go with white and um, the sandstone as a trim? Or do we go with 
sandstone and white is the trim and I and there will be other colors this is a very colorful sort of community they like their, their strong colors and their their bits and their bobs and we will probably end up with I don't know can I use something like this as um I need to get as as a trim would that be too strong I'm talking about like little pieces of um in the you know like the uh, micro blocks and things like that I think that that's too hard that's it's cold it's I mean gold of course is always ooh look at me I'm and we could have touches just touches I don't want it to be ostentatious I want it to be ritzy classy but not like you know um we could have some blue trim somewhere along the way blue and the blue and gold which are the colors of Leckley and this town sh this town is in the country of of uh, Westmoreland, Westmoreland, Westmoreland. I always say it wrong. Appar apparently, I pronounce too many of the letters. <laughs> Westmoreland, um, which is, you know, the, the it's, it's Leckley. It's the kingdom of Leckley. So that's not exactly the proper blue, mind you. Ooh, 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 ooh. But what? Ah, da bum bum. Where would I find? <coughs> where would I find? that one mm. that there that's the colors of Leckley so we could have small bits of trim in these color in blue with the gold yeah that could be a thing smooth sandstone nice and smooth I'm thinking if we're gonna go with those blue that blue and gold is very strong and and I use the whole white thing you know the white brick and stuff in the summer palace absolutely I have done that but I'm thinking I'm thinking that's better we'll make a sandstone building we'll have lots of the white marble trim columns you know whatever it ends up being and we'll have some of the blue and then touches of gold to just make her yeah okay I think we got this it, it happens. It, it happens eventually. It really does. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I am sorry, guys. This, this is what I do. This is, this is how I do it. And, you know, there have been a lot of people asking for it. So now you know what you've been asking for. Uh, I am going to put these down here just as reminders of colors and possibilities. Yeah, this is nothing, nothing at all like I had in my head. And yet I know that this is where we're going. This is what it's going to be, guys, right here. The majority of it in sandstone, lots of white. And the actual, you know what, the actual, um, we're going to go like this. And here, and here's, uh, well, you'll see why in a second. There'll be trim in white. The ratio will be about like this. <clears throat> That's about the ratio we're looking at, I guess, of the colors that we're going to have. Whoops, not that one, that one. So when you look at the place, th these are, you know, I, maybe that's too much blue, but it'll, it'll be in there. It'll be something like that. I think this is going to be very pretty. I think it's going to, it's going to have, it's, the, the sandstone will make it like warmer. Um, I think it'll work. And then, you know, <laughs> whatever, whatever we sort out over here. And, and these colors, that's what I did on the other side. That's all I did on the other side. Just start playing with possibilities and putting up blocks of color and saying what feels the best. And there we go. So step two, and I still haven't built a single solitary bit of wall. Yeah, building in Minecraft. <laughs> Yay! Oh, so until I see you next time, you know, if, if you want to continue the process with me, hit subscribe if you haven't. If you like it a little bit, some part of it, please hit the like button. It just makes me feel good to see the little thumbs popped up in the world. And, you know, until I see you next time, live your life happy, build it beautiful, and thank you to everyone who makes this possible.
Bye-bye.